So if you've watched my channel for more than two seconds, you have seen Create Big Cannons. This is a very cool mod. And what it does is it adds cannons to the Create mod. And it's been updated. So first off, what the fuck? I might have just missed all of this. But I think most of what I'm going to look at today is new. Okay, but we'll start off with the cannon builder because I don't know what this is. It looks like the cannon builder is used to put together the layers of built up cannons. Okay. You know what? No, no, no. There's a problem here. I don't know how to make cannons with this mod. I just play this in creative. I don't think I've ever made a create big cannon cannon in survival. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. I don't know if it's new, but this though. This. I have no clue how this works, because as usual, I just downloaded it and started the game. I don't know anything. Auto cannon breaches. Yeah, and I believe this is called an auto cannon. I mean, the normal big cannons are very complicated and can be impossible to make. So auto cannon, you know what? That sounds like an idea. Cast iron auto cannon recoil spring. Man, this still sounds complicated. What is this? A ram rod and a worm. <laughs> oh, wait, do I have to? <gasps> no, do I like manually shove it in? No way. Wait, how, how do I look? Oh, look at how big it is. <laughs> All right, let's see. I guess the breach goes first. Oh, I, oh, and then recoil spring, maybe? And then barrel? I don't know how this works, okay? I am simply placing out objects. How does this work? And why is it so small and cute? Oh. How do tiny cannons work? Uh, can I ponder this, maybe? Because that feels like... No, okay. Oh. Mobile cannon mount can be moved around, but cannot be automated like the cannon mount. When right-clicked with wrench, it assembles or disassembles a carriage. Does not need to have a cannon mounted. This looks... <laughs> This looks wrong. Also, they added the command seat to clockwork. This is very interesting. It looks sort of like an electric chair. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into this in another video. Don't worry. This is very cool, by the way. This thing right here. You know what's also cool? The fact that you haven't subscribed yet. What the fuck? <gasps> I know now. We place the recoil spring right here. We place the breech behind it and then barrels in front of it. Here we go. And now we get the wrench. We right click. And, and we can place a seat on here as well. <laughs> Look. Oh, this is so cool. And I think we can just like right click. Oh, no. Why can I not right click? I'm supposed to be able to just right click it to use it. No. It's the wrench. <gasps> <gasps> oh, I lost my glasses. What the fire? Oh, they move separately from. Oh, this is like giving your phone to your mom to show her a meme. And she just has to like drag her glasses down. to. <laughs> Um, can I drive it? Is it is it drivable? Oh my god, I can drive it! This feels like one of those, you know, the- oh, <laughs> Wait, I can just dig myself underground, why? You know what, this is probably the best update I have ever seen to create big cannons. How do we shoot? Not right click, not left click, space, control. Uh, that might actually be separate controls. Let's see... Yep, here we go. Does this work? Let's see. Oh my- Oh! Oh, 300 RPM. Oh my god. Okay, wait, what? No. This is actually amazing. This is so big. This is huge. What? Bro, wait, we need to test this out. Can it go up blocks? If I if I try to like drive it up this block, will it go up? No, okay. But can I pick it up with my wrench? No. So I want to make a big wall. I want to place some cannons on there and I want to see if I can protect myself against a bunch of zombies. You know, the create mode just keeps making me want to start wars. I try to be a friendly, peaceful guy, but then stuff like this gets added and, and I just want to commit Minecraft war now. Check this out. We got our wall. We got the cannon carriage. And let's see here. Recoil spring, barrels and the breach. Boom, bam. Boom! Let's see if I can just drive this forward here. Okay, so this is the furthest down it can go. When aiming up, we can go very high up. I am inside of the ground, okay? But when aiming down, we stop here. So it's got pretty bad reach if you're shooting at something underneath you, or below you. Yeah, this aims like over there. All right, fighting time. There we go. I cannot even hear my own thoughts anymore. Let's kill them. Hit. Oh no, she ready to fire. They are barely dying. This is actually hurting my hearing. I, I believe... I don't think this is good for my hearing. And also kind of not that fun. That's way too easy. Well, well I, that could just be because I'm in creative, right? So, I mean, if I'm doing this in survival, I'd probably, you know, save up the bullets and not just spam shoot like this all the time. So I guess it's a different thing in survival. Depending on how easy these are to craft. This is not fully released, I think. This is just like a test version. So I don't even know if they have a crafting recipe and it might not even end up looking like this or working like this. But honestly, yeah, this is cool. This is good. I like this because the other cannons are fun and cool, but they're also so complicated that you don't 
own like building them is kind of useless let's say this is my base and i want to protect it instead of building a big great big cannons cannon to shoot one cannonball every two minutes i can just get the potato gun i mean it's bad, but I mean, it, it works. But also, you know, cannons are going to be a lot more important, especially these small cannons. Now that we've got clockwork with Valkyrian Skies, all of this, airplane attacks on bases are going to be a real thing. And as soon as we get all of these mods onto Create Tech, I mean, it's over, right? If someone's fighting with someone, they can just make a literal airplane, fly over there and blow them up. Which, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that is very cool. And I'm incredibly excited to see it. All right, let's disassemble this thing. Does it make a difference? if we have any other cannons or is it just the same also i want to see how long i can make it so what if we do the barrel of like three and then reach this one will this still work or let's see yeah this feels more efficient but i might just be co i might i might be wrong i don't know it's the same rpm right so it shouldn't oh yeah the maximum length and the weight impact is different oh so depending on what material you use for it you can have different lengths wait let's get the goggles on and see what it actually is because if we look at it now it's just going to say oh maximum length four out of five if we get the goggles on boom eight blocks including chamber all right so one two three four five six eight. is that actually wait, if this works oh my Wait, what? <laughs> Let's see. Jesus, this is long. I don't really know why you'd want a cannon this, <laughs> this long. Imagine you're walking up to someone's base and then you just see this thing peek out of... <laughs> Oh, yeah, this, this stuff is great, though. I mean, oh, oh, I missed this. Wait, so there are the auto cannon cartridge here, armor piercing, which is what I just used. There's also this strong penetrating force, best suited for soft targets such as wooden structures and thin armor. Okay, how does this shoot then if we not at all? What? Oh, that's kind of boring. I guess shoot out airborne targets. It doesn't work. Do, do we need something special for this? Because I, I can't shoot with this. Yeah, this is the only one that works. You know what? Maybe they haven't added it or I'm just missing something here and you need something special for this that I don't have. I don't know. But you know, I mean, at this point, there's a lot of mention of airborne stuff, flying things. So my question is, can I place one of these cannons on an airplane? Yeah, imagine flying an airplane in Minecraft with someone controlling an auto cannon behind you. <laughs> Hello? And all of this, create mode, all the add-ons, aeronautics, big cannons, Valkyrian skies with, with clockwork and, and all of that. There's way too much. I have like 50,000 ideas to test out. There's not even enough time for me to test out the mods. But you know what? I am definitely putting one of these cannons on an airplane. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that because I really want to do it. And if you want a Shal's dad hat, I have a merch store open. So go and check it out. It's very cool. I've got a Shal's dad hat, okay? I just told Shal's dad hat. Ooh, let me tell you, you put a Shal's dad hat on and you look like a dad.